everybody and welcome to another edition of Innovative Hobby Supply Time. We are your hosts. I'm Mike. I'm Lauren. And we got the perfect scale model kit for this holiday season just for you, which Lauren is about to tell us all about. Today we are assembling the BK4841 148th scale Santa's Workshop Photo Reel Building Kit. This building kit includes nine sheets with materials for one building, three model people, one bag of landscape moss, many customizable decorations, and a partridge in a pear tree. This model kit is perfect to showcase your holiday cheer this Christmas season. For complete detailed instructions and building dimensions, please visit InnovativeHobbySupply.com. Alrighty, today we are going to be using the standard equipment for this type of model a glue gun, scotch or invisible tape, a hobby or exacto knife, a metal ruler, a pair of wire cutters, a pair of scissors, washable markers for when you want to touch up all of your pieces, and of course, a cutting mat. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is unpack all of our materials and set aside all of the accessories. Now this model is so detailed and has so many accessories that it is a total of nine sheets. But don't worry, it's completely going to be worth it. So let's get started. All right, so we are going to start with this first piece before we get into any of the others. So you wanna grab your trusty scissors and make long, smooth cuts along the edges for better control and crisper edges. Actually, you know what? I think Santa is probably in a little bit of a hurry this time of year. So what do we say? We speed things up just a little bit. I am definitely getting presents in my stockings this year. Now that we have cut out all of our pieces, the next step is to start scoring and touch up the edges with our markers. To start scoring all of our pieces, we are going to go ahead and score on all the pieces that have these glue tabs right here. If you can see, it's going to make attaching these uh, pieces of the building a little bit easier. So go ahead and score all along the glue tabs so they fold over, as well as all of these white lines on the walls of the building. For this piece particularly, we are going to cut out the doors. So you're going to score along the two edges and then cut completely through on the top and down the middle so they open. You're gonna go ahead and do all of that with all of the walls as well as the roof. They have those glue tabs as well. Um, the illusion room does also have glue tabs um, and the lines that you need to cut along are marked with that white so go ahead and do that as well for the christmas trees there are lines that you can follow so they fit together nicely you are going to cut completely through on these um, go ahead and score all of the boxes uh, for the presents those lines are marked on there as well and these two roof pieces you're going to score directly down the middle of this little piece here and get to work here. I will show you how I'm going to cut out or score this piece here. So again, along the glue tabs, you're just going to lightly run lightly run your hobby knife over so it folds neatly just like that. That will make attaching this building a little bit easier. And there you can see we have the start of the building tabs and these doors are functional if you cut them out correctly. Again, you're scoring along one side and cutting out on the top and down the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and score all of these other pieces that need to be scored and I will meet you back here in just a minute to touch up our edges. Next, we're going to touch up all of our edges with our marker. So I'm gonna show you how I do that on this piece right here. This is the piece that we cut out those doors on. So you're gonna take the corresponding washable marker color and go ahead and lightly run the edge of your marker right along those white edges so we can make them blend in so it seems a little more uh, 
all flush and seamless. So go ahead and for the corresponding colors, so for the front of the building I'm using this green, for the doors I'll have a red that I'm going to use and then when you fold them over you won't see this white line. So you go ahead and do that real quick and then everything will look very detailed, very put together. And there you have your touched up edges, so when they fold over, you don't really see that white line. Go ahead and do the same thing that we just did with this piece with all of your other pieces that you would like all those edges touched up with, and I will meet you back here in just a second. Now that we've scored everything and touched up our edges, it's time to start assembling our building. So to start assembling our building, we are going to take this piece right here that says Santa's Workshop, and we're gonna work on this piece real quick here. What you're gonna do is you're going to flip this over and glue on the back side of these doors. So when they open, you will see the back side of the door. So go ahead and do that real quick, and then I'll show you how to assemble this piece so we can go ahead and attach it to the rest of the building. So now that we have our doors that you can see the inside of, we're going to go ahead and attach the illusion room to the back of this piece. And so you see that we have glue tabs here on the edges. We are going to fold them over like this and then place it right side up right behind those doors and center it nice so it, when you open those doors you can pop in and see Santa and the Christmas tree. And now we have our illusion room attached and you can see in there. And to finish off this piece, we are going to fold in the edges and attach this glue tab here right into there. So it stays like that. So it's a nice 3D effect for the front of the building. And there you have the assembled front piece that goes on the front of the building. So now that this is assembled, we're going to set this aside for just a second and grab our mat. Um, and we're going to start assembling the four basic walls of this building. So go ahead and pull out your tape if you need to so you can straighten your edges and make sure you get those crisp, clean lines all along the border of the building structure here. And we're going to start with the front of the building. So go ahead and line up this area with this wood piece right here. And it's gonna be just like that. So half of it is showing right there. I'm gonna go ahead and tape this down just to make sure my edges are nice and neat. Once you have that front piece assembled and on the base, we are going to attach that front piece that we just did. So this glue flap right here is actually going to fold under. Uh, you can see that it's going to fold towards the front of the building. And then this is going to sit right on top of it. So you got a few glue tabs here that you can work with just to make sure that you line up that front piece correctly. So now that the very front of our building, um, all of the 3D effects and everything are in place, we're gonna go ahead and put on the other sides of the building. Um, these are pretty self-explanatory. Um, both of these sides are the exact same, so it doesn't matter which side you put where. Um, just use those glue tabs on the bottom here. And then once we get to the roof, we're gonna utilize these glue tabs on the top, and I'll show you how to do that in a bit. 
and I find it easiest to put the back on first and then you can both with the sides use both of those glue tabs right away but you do it however is easiest for you use that tape just to make sure your lines are nice and sharp and I will meet you back here in just a second And now that we have the walls of our model set up, we'll go ahead and start putting on the roof. So to start the roof, we're gonna take these two large roof pieces, and you see they have glue tabs, so you're gonna line them up so they fit together nicely. And then that's gonna give you the main part of the roof for the building. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over and glue those two glue tabs and press them down so they almost interlock, kind of like this. So now that our main roof piece has been assembled, we are going to place it on our building. You are going to take the side with less snow and put that at the front of the building as that side is slightly shorter so it'll fit just perfectly. So go ahead and utilize the glue tabs on the two tall sides of the building and again place the side with less snow at the front. Now that the main part of the roof has been assembled, we are going to put on the two smaller pieces that are going to go out over the two little points that we have on the front of our house here. So there are two different sizes, so make sure you line up the larger one. So as you can see, this one is a little larger. That's gonna go on the point right here on the right side of the building. So you're gonna go ahead, again, utilize those glue, um, glue strips, have these glue strips facing the main part of the roof, and go ahead and secure those down with your glue. And last for the roof, we are going to put on the caps to the rooftop. Um, so all you're gonna do is line them up right on the line that the point in the house makes and just glue them on right on top of here so you cover up that seam quite nicely. And there you have your assembled building. And I'm gonna hand it over to Mike and he's gonna show you how to put on all of the accessories and all of the outside decorations. All right, now that Santa's workshop has all but been completed, it's time to focus on the most important part of this model, putting up the decorations. 
All right, obviously the big part of getting all these decorations ready to go on our model is putting them together. So you're gonna wanna take all of the presents, make them a box, and then go ahead and glue all of those together. These snowmen, what you wanna do is make sure that these flaps are out, glue them back to back, and then that's how you glue them on to your model. The trees are a little different. So you're going to notice that they have slits down the middle. And what you want to do is you glue them back to back, make sure that these are, are ready to go. And then you're just going to want to slide them together and it gives your tree a very real 3D effect. So we're gonna go ahead and put all of these together and get ready to put them on our model. And now it's time to decorate Santa's workshop. Alrighty, all you have to do now is just take all of your decorations and just go nuts. and you have one decorated Santa's workshop. No holiday season is complete without the BK4841 Santa's Workshop Photo Reel Kit. The design, the detail, and the enjoyment of putting together such a festive model is something the entire family can come together to construct and decorate. It's the perfect addition to any seasonal diorama or even as a centerpiece on a shelf or dining room table. You can find this amazing scale model kit and all of the amazing scale model kits at InnovativeHobbySupply.com. And that concludes another edition of Innovative Hobby Supply Time. We hope you enjoyed yourselves. And we hope to see you again next time. You know what? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.